Well, howdy, folks. How's everybody doing today? We got parts. Okay. So we're going to unbox and see all the parts we got. All right. Uh, you remember in the previous episode, we were talking about the uh, brake lever master cylinder. Well, we got a new one right here. Um, the only difference that I see between the two, see if you're looking at them, see the sight glass right here? Uh, this one is on this side, right there. And it, the handle, the lever is just a tad different, but I don't think that's, that's not going to matter. Um, but it's brand new, so that is part number one. Then we got a box full of stuff right here. We'll set that over there. Whew, I turned the heat on in the garage this morning. It's a bit nipply in here. All right, let's see what we, we got. All this stuff is from VMC uh, ChinesePartsCom. Not a sponsor. So we got stuff to. Huh? I'm trying to think. Well, we'll go through it. Um, most of the stuff in this box is for the blue one. Um, I think the only thing I ordered for the red one was a new mat. But we'll see. Okay, so what do we got here? We got a um, lower front headlight. And it's not a headlight, it's kind of like a marker light. For the blue one. And we got we got a new tail light here for the blue one. Looks much better. Well, this is gonna that's gonna be entertaining to see how we put that thing on and what all we got to take off in order to put it on. Uh, what do we got here? We got two mats, brand spanking new. Uh, the one was broke up here, and the other one was just kind of stiff. These things were like sixteen bucks a piece. And I think the, I think this rear light was like $16 and this little front light was like $5.50. What else do we have here? Oh, we got, we got two batteries, which I need to take these out here. You know, man, it'd be nice if they put some stickers in here, you know, that give this thing a few more horsepower. Okay, so these are <laughs> uh, just batteries, but on the website, when you order these, they want to charge you a dollar twenty-five, dollar fifty for these extra screws here, and uh, I said no because I've got plenty of them lying around, but they come with screws. So if you buy a battery on their website, I don't think you need to buy screws. Um, but let's see here. <clears throat> this thing is sealed, so it should be charged. Let's uh, get the tester out here. Let's see what we got voltage wise. Twelve point two three volts. So we're good there. Uh, we do have another battery, so we'll stick that there. So I bought two. These were, uh, I want to say, fifteen dollars a piece, fifteen fifty, something like that. And I did look on Amazon, and uh, they had a three amp hour battery. I forget what brand it was, and it was actually a little bit more expensive, so. I opted to just get the factory um, replacement battery. Let's check voltage. Twelve point two eight volts. All right, so I think we're good in the battery department. Set these over here. We need to put those in place. 
All right, what else uh, do we have in our box of parts here? I think these should be some mirrors. Yes, we have two mirrors here. And are they the same? They are identical, so that's good. Um, I showed you in that previous video, uh, I could paint the stems on them, but it looks like since that thing was sitting outside, that it had got water uh, up into the lens. So, mess those up. I think, I want to say those were, hold on a minute, I'll tell you. I have my spreadsheet here. The mirrors were 14.25. So, I think all in all, um, Shipping, no, shipping was free because it was a hundred bucks. Uh, so yeah, this was like a hundred dollars uh, to replace all these uh, parts, mainly on the blue one. Uh, the only part on the red one was the lever, which I did not get that from VMC. They did not have that. I got that on Amazon and that was like $16. So we're doing pretty good. So that is a list of all of our parts. Um, that we've got to put on. Get this out of here. Put that down there. Give uh, the cats something to play with or climb into. Man, this rear light was pretty cheap. Man. I was kind of surprised. I was going to just attempt to buff it out. Um, and I might still. That way I can clean up some of these parts and just list them on Facebook, Marketplace. But that's, uh, and it comes with the bulbs and everything, so. That's a pretty good deal. It's plastic, everything's plastic. All right, let's move over here to the red one. And what are we gonna do? Let me get you over here on the tripod. Move you around, try to not clink into things. Hopefully the light is okay because it's coming through the garage window. All right, let's take this little piece off here. That's from the old one. Um, a bit dusty in here. Lens around. This steering is fine on this one. And yeah, this, um, uh, both the old master cylinder and the new one call for dot four brake fluid, which I stopped at the parts store and got. So let's go ahead and I know we're going to need an eight mil. necessary to put that on He-Man tight. Just getting the screws off here. I know you can't see me. But it's supposed to be like 70 degrees today so I'd like to get this thing running since we've already got a plug and everything in it. I don't think, look, let me look here. Yeah, I don't see no indents on the uh, handlebar for uh, these things to go into. I'm just gonna run it up right next to the uh, Start switch, light switch, no, start switch. Make sure I got it where I want it. Yep. Oh, one thing I do gotta do 
is, uh, I believe the black went to the outside. I don't think it matters on these switches. That's pretty loose fit. Let me get my uh, needle nose. What did I do with those? Crimp these connectors down a little bit so they're a little bit tighter. Don't want them falling off. Okay, so we're in position there. All right, so we got that, we got that. I believe this nut here is a 12, yes it is. Comes with the washers and everything, so just remember guys that it's got two washers on it. One goes on the inside, one goes on the outside of our hose. And take our hose and put it up there. Put that through there. And then all we gotta do is really is bleed it. Make sure there's no gunk on here. Okay, it's good and tight. Um, what do I need? Uh, I need my bucket. And I know that's going to make a mess. But uh, what I want to do is take a little rubber cap off here, off the bleeder valve. And I believe that is an eight. Um, I may see if I've got, I know I'm down here, hold on a minute. Um, I don't know if I've got any crap hose. You know I had a section of hose the other day and I threw it away. And I probably should have kept it. Um, so I could bleed that and put a hose down into my bucket. Oh crap. Oh, let me check over here. Got a small section of hose here, uh, two pieces actually. See if I can fit it over the bleeder valve, that way it's not running onto the floor. Okay, 
Let's take the top off. Is it really necessary for these companies to put these things on so tight? <clears throat> I guess they got their reasoning, but out with the impact. I guess I should have done that on the, done that on the workbench, right? Um, let's see here. If, um, I don't know if that JIS is. These things are on here really super tight. Man, I feel like they're going to strip. I got. Oh. Man, that is like stripping right out of there. Okay, um... Try the different head on here. No, that's too big. Okay, guys. Well, I'm gonna have to pause you and dork with this because it is not wanting to come off. Guys, I'm gonna have to probably put this thing in the vise. We're set on something so it doesn't go down. So hold on a minute, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and yeah, that sucked. Okay, here's the head of the screw. Hopefully, you're able to see that. It kind of mangled that one, and here we go. Here we go. Kind of mangled that one. Good thing I didn't mangle the other ones on the original one, so I can reuse those, but that's stupid. I mean, there's no reason to put those things in there that tight. All right, so we have our dot four brake fluid. And I will Squeeze the handle down, get some going down the line. So I see it coming out the bottom. I see air bubbles, but I'm not seeing no fluid go down. I hear it. Yeah, I see nothing. Okay, I guess 
try to finally slip some down in there. I just don't want it shooting. Brake fluid all over the plastics. Let me, uh, I'm gonna get a paper towel. Give it a little cape, just in case. Okay, it's starting to come out. Okay, it's running out pretty steady. Alright, so let's... Squeeze that in. Tighten up our valve. See if we got any brakes. Okay, I need a, another 12. Uh, do, 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 do. Well, we have a front brake. Okay, let me uh, put a little hose back on here again. I want to loosen this up and see if I can. Squeeze it down. Feels pretty good. A little brake fluid up here. All right, that feels pretty good. Let's put the cap back on it. First, I've got to put all the uh, stuff for the headlight. And so, yeah, you get one of these, you might want to keep your old screws. did I didn't have to take the uh, brakes off you can actually see inside there and uh, see the pads all right there you have it Ooh, I have to clean all the brake fluid off the rim and that ain't much. A little bit. And we'll put our little bleeder cap back on down here, which is kind of rotted and probably just gonna fall right off. <clears throat> but hey, it's on there. All right, so we got that done. Uh, we got the brake on. 
let's, uh, what do we want to do next? Uh, I guess we need to hook up our battery. Uh, I'm going to let this brake fluid kind of drain out of that hose. <clears throat> so I can reuse that hose for something else. All right, so we've got a battery here. And we're going to need our Phillips back again. Let's come down here. This is nothing too exciting. We need to shoot brake fluid everywhere. See that on the floor now. You guys probably seen it. I didn't see it. This is going to shot out pretty far. So let's just double check our brake lever again. It looks like it's leaking from something. I forgot. I'm looking, hold on a minute. Let me get another paper towel. Maybe it's just left over. Or I have another leak somewhere else. I'm just down here on the floor. I'm going to check the play on the other one. Okay, the other one's got a lot less play. So, we still need to, let me take that cap back off there. Okay, um, I want to try to get that lever. Let me kind of hold this thing up like that. Keep, because when, it, when it's turning to the right, when you see it going that way, uh, I think it's shooting out of it. <clears throat> so let's put our hose back on. feeling better. Okay, let's put more fluid back in it. Dripping from somewhere. I can't see it with stuff on him. Uh, down on the ground. Hopefully we're not leaking out of it anywhere. I don't see it. I'm going to put just a tad more in it. Uh, let's see here. No, that should be good. <clears throat> because the bottom piece there kind of sticks out a little bit. And if you sit it on there with it too full, it's going to shoot out everywhere.
Okay, wipe that off again. Yeah, that feels pretty good. Guess the real test will be uh, once we take it on the road. But let me get my hose off down here. I need another, I need a new cap for that. But it's definitely grabbing. So, kind of, uh, actually I'm kind of hesitant about putting this whole cover back on until we know that the brakes are good. Otherwise, you got to take it all back off uh, just to bleed the brakes. But I do need a zip tie. So we can zip tie this wiring back up. Get all that in there. And I think that nut needs to be tightened. Yep. Tighten that here in a minute. And yeah, guys, when I put the uh, uh, speedometer thing back on, I got to remember to put the speedometer thing back on. Okay, so we got that. We got that. We got front brakes. <coughs> okay, so I think we're good. I see no leaking. Our cables are connected. Uh, what is that? Is that a 12 or is that a 14 underneath this handlebar? Looks like a 14. Yep. Of course. I'm going to snug that up. Keep that cable from moving. this up on here and that's got to go like so okay, inside there make sure all your stuff is tucked up inside there and that goes there do need to make sure our speedometer cable is inside. There it is. Okay, need our nut. Where's the nut? Really? Where's the nut? Oh, okay guys, <laughs> I think the nut slid down inside there. Let me... <sighs> yeah, some of the simplest things. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, man. I don't think that's magnetic either. Um... Kind of looks like it's a brass type material. Whoa, blind myself. Nah, it is magnetic. Oh, I see it. Now I just got to get it up here. So I can grab it. Okay. 
Okay. That was Okay. Oh, Epic fail. You got all that. It just slid right back down there. I let go of it. Oh, come on. Ugh. It's like that game, man. That game of operation. I'm trying to get, get it up here so I can reach hold of both, both fingers. Slide it all the way up. You got a ton of wires in your way here. Okay. Try to get that screwed on there. All right, air flyer, scalpel. All right, speed out is not going nowhere. Um, that is the headlight. This is the blinker. We're gonna leave that there. Uh, we'll put our headlight back on. I did look for, I was kind of curious while I had all this stuff off here, uh, maybe upgrading this headlight bulb to LED. They do make them, uh, I can't even remember what the number is now though. H2 maybe? I, I don't, don't quote me on that because I don't really remember. Um, oh, I know what we're missing. There are then two screws uh, that go inside there. this in place here. I wish this uh, magnet thing would stick better. I can see it, but... Because what happened before, so I went to do this, and the screw fell down inside there. Kind of like, just like that. So that's good. Um, see if I can shove that in there. Because you can't really see the threaded piece of it. I know you're looking at it there with me. I think that's the wrong screw. Hold on a minute. Okay. Um, Hmm. The head on that screw is a little bit big, so I need to see if I've got another screw. I'm telling you, man, you really just can't see up in here. All these wires and stuff in the way. something so simple would be simple but it's not it's hitting that piece there got past that there we go uh yeah um i'll show you here in a sec i'll get this screw in i don't remember them screws being different head being different but I'll show you what I'm looking at hmm 
that is on the one side <clears throat> this one is bigger than this one so uh, looks like I'm missing a tiny screw and I have them up here on my workbench I had the headlight stuff all together okay um I know when I did the other one and I dropped one, I had to search my nut bucket and find a replacement screw. So, hold on a second. Uh, I gotta go through the nut bucket and see if I can find another one of those tiny little screws. So I'll be right back. All right, took me a bit of searching, but I found one. started. Let's get this one lined up. And it just doesn't seem like it wants to snap in. Kind of snapped in. Yeah, guys, these are kind of a pain in the butt. I can see the little hole doodicky, hicky thing. But it's not. Here where I'm tapping on with my finger. Looks like it goes up under this 
uh, front housing. Let's see if that does it. Big screw that goes in the center. Let's see. And there's another screw uh, that goes in the front here. That's an 8 mil. And is this hitting? Uh, having a hard time seeing it, guys. But looking at the blue one, it is sitting up under there. So, what is up with that? Let me see if I can get this big screw lined up. You'd think this would be pretty straightforward. Okay, I got that one going in. I ain't got it tight. Uh, but getting and maybe that screw in the front does something. We'll find out. Um, Let's see here. That's still lined up. This top here, let me pull you around here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, you're looking right here. Those have to go up under that speedometer cluster. And right here, uh, yeah, there are two uh, little round doohickeys that go into those little tabs but they're not going to stay in those tabs and there's nothing like really to Okay, there went that side. Let's see if it stays in. snapped in this side here it snapped in but the other side is uh, giving me fits and I don't see anything that is causing it to bind and not snap in <laughs> there again this is not the highest quality stuff here so just saying. But as long as I can get it to stay in, 
mean, I can get this top lip up under, but it's right here. That little uh, nub that I was telling you about kind of goes into that little slot, and it is not going in there. Okay, well, it is what it is. Let's uh, tighten this thing in the front. Tighten these back down. I mean, you can clearly see it right there. <clears throat> but is there something broke here? Oh, I think that one's that one's kind of bent. Or it snapped off. And keeping it from going there. I know my big head's in the way. Okay, so that's in, that's in. And that's in. That's gonna have to do. All right, let's get you down here. Or, eh, let me move you on the other side. That way my big noodle isn't hitting you right in the head. We're just gonna put the battery in. See if that goes a little bit easier. Okay. Get some of the crap out of here. Rocks. These can be a pain to get started. Just saying. Because it never seems like the screws are never quite long enough. <clears throat> or get lined up enough. And get my knife. <clears throat> Push that. Over. I don't know if it's in there or not. We'll see if it starts blowing up. No. And they never give you enough cable. To uh, get it going. No, still not here. Still not biting. up a little bit. They did give you enough. What am I talking about? That's 
right there, man. It's right there. Try to get a screwdriver <clears throat> up under it to pry that nut up, and then it pushes the nut out of the way. <clears throat> Did I get it? going sideways. Just gotta laugh. If one thing doesn't get in your way, another does. All right, let's try. Watch my exercise and frustration here. Of course, it moved. Let's see if that'll do it. I'm struggling here because I can't hold the knife, I can't hold the screw. Did I get it? I don't think so. No, did not. Epic fail. And of course, that is too. Yeah, I know you're all sitting there laughing at me. That's fine, because I laugh at myself. Some of the simplest things just cause you problems. Get that screw back out of there. I mean, it looks like there's a ledge for it, but... There is kind of like a little ledge there, but I'll be damned, it will not... Uh, Stay up in it. I mean, we'll get there though. One of these years. Oh, really? What should take five minutes? It's taking me an hour. And you can't see down in there to see if it's even lined up. You just have to guess and then kind of see if it threads on. Hey, maybe that, uh, maybe that dollar, uh, 50 pack of screws has longer screws. This is ridiculous.
This is ridiculous. Let me pause you for a second. All right, there is a trick to that. Put a screwdriver, get a small screwdriver, and wedge it underneath that nut, like that. And then you can get it to bite and go in. So, sorry for the long delay on that one, guys. All right, so we still got that piece there. That's just gonna have to, to do because I can't, unless, you know, I was checking that brake handle lever and I don't see where it's hitting anything. Um, the only thing I notice is the one tab, which you can't see uh, on the top right by the mirror uh, is broke off. So that's, I think that's what's keeping it from going into place because there's nothing to hold it up underneath there. All right, so we got a battery in. Uh, we already know it runs, but let's see. Oh, starter. Yeah, fired right up. All the lights are working. Turn signals are working. Still may need to adjust this uh, idle up a bit. That's, you know what? That's never done that before. Uh, however, I do have, I think, another starter, just in case. I don't know if it's the right size, but... Oh, I may be out of gas, too. I gotta put gas in it. Um, all right, so let me round up some gas. Make sure we got gas in the tank. And, because I don't... I know I put some in there, guys, but I don't think I put that much. Let's see here. I do see gas down in there. Um, guess a little more wouldn't hurt. Well, that thing is snapped off back there. But I think the seat will sit down on that. Um, let me put a little more gas in it. And of course my gas can is completely full. I need to look at the specs because I have no idea how much gas this thing even holds. I don't want to put a ton in there because uh, riding season is definitely coming to an end here, so I don't want to leave that gas in there or have to go bother with draining it back out. leaving it sit there all winter long. All right, so we got gas in it. Just a little bit. Okay, 
gas gauge reading uh, right above the little E, red E zone. So we should have enough gas in it. Crack my door open. searching for uh, the other two. Through my tons of Chinese parts out back. Okay, so we're not missing any screws in the front here. Uh, that looks good. We can put the uh, new rubber mat down. I 
Let me there's four. Okay, got a new mat. Um, I don't know what screws I am missing for the seat. Uh, there's the tool kit, uh, back cover, and a bug. Okay, so that's a nut, that's a nut. I do know I need to find uh, some of those nuts. That's in, that's in. Um, there's a screw that goes in the front right here where my finger is. And I'll show you. There's a nut that goes here, here. A screw that goes there and I think that's all that holds that on I believe uh, let me look and see what I got here in the bag of red screws I see I know I need to find a couple of turn my lens around so I can see I need to find a couple more of these and I think I think they're tens. Uh, let's see here. Yep, they're tens. So let's see if we can put this on. And then there's three, two more that go down on the inside. These look like they should have a, tell you what, let's put these down here. And see if, you know, I found, uh, they're probably too long. I found these the other day, sitting, where, where you are? There you are. Ah, dude, cat's out there fighting again. Yeah, those will those will work. I think. Yeah. I need to see if I've got two more. There's a, an old engine I had, I was gonna chuck, and I went and took the uh, oil injection unit off Hopefully those sit down enough to where they don't interfere with the seat closing. Let's see. Okay, so how do you how do you pop the seat back up? Is there a latch, a key for it? The last thing I want to do is close this thing and not <laughs> figure out. Oh yeah, there's a latch over here. <clears throat> On this side, there's a key latch. Um, so yeah, let's put this one in here. This stud looks like it's bent. Yeah, it does. It looks like it's bent. Let's see if I can pry that over a little bit with a screwdriver. Enough to get this screw on. I'll try the smaller one. Okay, I got that one on. That one kind of on. Let's see if I can get this one on. 
I may have to go down to, I don't I doubt, I can check, but I doubt Lowe's has anything like that. And I can look in my nut bucket, but I know I haven't seen anything like that in there. The problem with these is I think they're a bit too long and they're not wanting to tighten down fully. Okay, well, we'll just leave those snugged up for now. And we have this little cover right here. Uh, that goes down in here, some way. I don't know how that sits down. Oh, there we go. It just snaps in there. And then there's a screw that holds that in. Uh, do I have that screw? No, I do not. Uh, I'm going to have to locate uh, another screw for that. I still don't know what I've done with my Phillips. This one here is for the seat bracket in the front. So I need to wipe that out still. But, I mean, that holds it, so... And it latches. And I need to... This plastic piece in the back here is not going to stay snapped on, but I'll deal with that off camera. I still don't know what I... Oh, there's my Phillips. Um, while I'm over here looking, I'll look again. See, those are all screws. They're not... I do have one more of those little caps in here. I will look for more of those somewhere else. And all my stuff. Um, I seem to think that there was, let's get the key out of here. I thought I was missing something in one of these trunks. Now I just got to fix those little straps and make um, make those um, fix that wire that keeps it from flipping all the way forward. Okay, so that's going to have to be. That's going to have to be. And, I mean, other than looking for a couple of extra miscellaneous screws that I'm missing, um, this one is good to go, guys. I mean, other than, you know, kind of wiping it down, putting some black stuff on it, renew the black, and I guess I could check and see, um, make, go around just kind of make sure all the bolts and everything are tight. Put our toolbox toolkit we'll back down in there. I don't even know what tools we got in. Looks like a spark plug wrench, Allen wrench, screwdriver. Uh, yeah, a couple odds and end things there. So <clears throat> we'll put that back down in there so we don't lose it. Definitely got to find a screw for that because I can see that thing vibrating like mad all right so there we go we're out we're zoomed out I still gotta change the oil thanks for reminding me but this one's ready to go I know my truck's in the way so I have to put the helmet on here and we'll take a cruise down the road. So I will be back in a moment. All right, guys, I got the GoPro on. I don't think, uh, I haven't messed with this thing forever. I got us a new mount. 
it sticks on the nose of this uh, um, helmet. I don't know how well this thing is seeing because I got a GoPro 10, so I can't really see. I can't view while it's recording, so I don't know. We'll see. Get this thing off the center stand. There we go. Ignition. Looks like, yeah, we got a little bit of here. Looks a little bit. You can scoot yourself back on the seat a little bit more. I got the visor up. Notice that that air fuel screw uh, is kind of real hard to get to with the uh, with, uh, uh, the whole seat thing here on. So I may have to tweak that a little bit. You seem to be idling okay. So, we hit 
it here it's about 45. Of course, I'm sure this thing's off a bit. But she runs. Put it back on the center stand. Uh, I did air up the tires. It's 35 and a half pounds. So all right, I'll switch it back over to the uh, camera and we'll take a look. All right, uh, back on to the uh, camcorder. I gotta, I gotta change some settings on that GoPro. <clears throat> I think it's not recording through the uh, external microphone because I noticed when I had the visor shut, I sounded extremely muffled and you can hardly even understand what I was saying. Uh, basically, I was just talking about the speed and how it slowed down pretty quick with the brakes. So the brakes seem to be working pretty good. Um, so yeah, I, I'll, I'll have to dork around with the GoPro, um, see what's up with that. Anyway, uh, what I did is I took uh, some of this grippy mat right here and cut out. I used the, um, there was a paper one, I think I showed it. There's a paper one right here, and I just lined it up, took a pair of scissors and cut it out. So, and this wire here, I just took a electrical connector, ran it through. Yeah, there's a bit of water in there I need to clean up. Um, to keep it going forward. Also, too, uh, I noticed this thing. Uh, I did kind of drive it just down the driveway and back. This thing was vibrating really bad, so I took some old some fuel line that I had and was able to shove it down and through here, 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 and here, uh, and that really helped with the vibration. So that rattle is fixed. Now, in order to get to the uh, air fuel screw. You can't, you can't really get to it through this, so I'm going to have to take the seat back off, which is easy enough. It's just those two bolts down there, these two bolts right here, and see if I can tweak that air fuel a little bit. Um, seems like I may be running a little rich, but I'll dork with that. But other than that, I think we're going to wrap this up on this red one. It runs fine. Uh, you know, I mean, other than, you know, like I said, it seems to be running a little bit rich. I'll clean it up. Well, it's already kind of clean. I'll just put some spray wax on it. And uh, <clears throat> brakes, like I said, brakes are working fine. Everything else works fine. The only thing left I got to do is I want to do check the air filter on this one, uh, which I showed you how to do on the blue one. And we need to drain the oil out. Um, and we got to do it on both of them. So I don't think I'll show it on this red one. I think we're just going to wrap this red one up. We got a bunch more stuff to do on the blue one. And I was kind of taking a look off camera at what all I got to take off in order to replace that backlight. Man, I think that's going to be a pain. I got to get these three uh, Allens out of here. And I think I'm going to have to take this seat uh, back piece off completely in order to get to this one here. Because if you look at that uh, light bracket, or the back light, I'll take a look here. All these tabs down here I can get to. But the two tabs right there at the top, where my finger's pointing, those are up under, and we'll go over this when I fire up the camera to do this blue one. They're, they're up under this plastic here, right there. So I got to figure out, A, how I'm going to get this off, B, how to get this side cover off without snapping these tabs on this thing. So anyway, I won't keep rambling on. Red one's running fine. I think it runs fine. Uh, I'm going to try to see if the GPS was working on the GoPro. And if it was, I'll throw the uh, uh, speedometer thing up there. And we can see how fast we're going. So, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, this red one's done. Ready to go. Got a lot more stuff to do on the blue one. But we'll cover that one here uh, in the next video. So, thanks for uh, hanging out with me and uh, working through this thing. And... Uh, See you shortly on the blue video, so have a good one.